hey, let's just give this a quick listen. What I found in shooting with the gimbal is it's really more about uh, subject it's and really the joystick. As soon as you hit the joystick... So what we have here is um, a success on all accounts. What do we got? We got a studio dog. We got a little studio doggy. A little studio dog. We got a studio Dave. Hi. What do you think of the dog? He's pretty chill. He's so chill. Archer, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, sure. To me, audio is one of the most important aspects of the video, and it's something I obsess over. It's one thing to have incredible footage, but if your audio is no good, nobody will listen to it. Since my last helmet microphone broke over two months ago, I've been chasing the best way to record in-flight paramotor audio. I've tried dozens of prototypes and think I finally landed on something that's good enough for me. Today, let's learn about microphones. Dude, <laughs> there's so much stuff in here. Just microphone stuff. This is where the magic happens. No, this is like a crack house. This is what it takes to get good at audio. This How? is exactly what it takes to get good audio. This audio is gonna be so good, dude. In-flight audio <sighs> sucks. Yeah. And we're gonna make it better. Stand by. If you've been watching the channel for the better part of two months now, you will have realized that I am continually on the pursuit of better in-flight audio. Right as we left for the out west trip, I realized that I did not have the adapter for recording audio to the DJI Osmo as I had been doing for the past six months. So I ended up for the first half of the trip having no capability of recording in-flight audio. I then moved to the microavionics headset that I had, was able to record some in-flight audio with that and wasn't pleased with the results. The iPhone actually has like the best dynamic range of any of the cameras I own. So. When I got back to Florida, I had started on an intensive quest to get the best audio I could, or at least come close to the previous Cena microphone. So what have we done? Check, one, two. Check, one, two. This is the, this is a record and audio check. So this is a better microphone. Test, test, one, two. Right, that previous test was a complete fail, and this is for science. And I'm talking very loud into the microphone now. This is the very cheap Amazon microphone. Yes, yeah, so we're testing now with these. Check, check. Media mod kit on the Hero Nine. Reese came up with a bunch of new information on the microavionics headset to get better audio out of that, and the inclusion of the GoPro 9 media mod gave us a lot more headroom in post so it didn't clip the audio as much, but I still wasn't pleased with that. So it's important to me to have a good setup that will um, translate my thoughts to you effectively uh, and dynamically and with inflection, because previously this thing was just peaking and I, I had no inflection in the tone. And then finally, these bags, these things entered my life. What these are is a part that comes with most Cena uh, SMH10R or 10R uh, Bluetooth modules and everyone just throws them away because they don't think they're of any use. For a very long time, I was using the old Cena mic to record in-flight audio, which was this bulbous looking thingy and they discontinued making it, but it did produce the best in-flight audio. Now you had to cut the wire from it and then solder a 3.5 millimeter wire that looks kind of like this into these very small wires on the microphone lead and then plug that into your GoPro. But once you did that, you were set. Now I can't get my hands on one of those anymore, but I can get my hands on these. And what these are, are this little throwaway piece um, from the Cena uh, Bluetooth module kit, and they actually seem to have the same kind of coil or condenser. I don't know what what is what does a microphone use to make to like a coil condenser? It's a condenser. If it's a condenser, well, it's, it depends on the microphone. Type. It uses the same microphone thingy inside of it uh, as the other one, 
And the cool thing about these and the other one were they were not very sensitive, meaning that when you're at full power, you're running with your motor behind you and you're yelling, it didn't peak or cut out the audio like this. I set one up, I cut this little wire connector off right here, um, wired it to a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, plugged it into the GoPro, and this happened. Check, check one, two. And I was ecstatic because I finally found something with a good audio fidelity and a very low gain, which allows me to record in flight. So today we're going flying finally with my solution. Roll the intro. But I already rolled the intro. All right, we rolling. So at the end of the day, this is the solution, I believe. I think that this microphone is gonna give me the fidelity and clarity I want, even in the loudest environments. So with that, let's go film some super epicness, because people want to see that anyway. No speed bar for this mission. setup we have the gimbal stick which we talked about before but I put the bigger lens on it so we can shoot a more telephoto style shot don't hit me trike oh yeah what a freaking babe so we'll just unlock all this turn the camera on continuous autofocus I should really be rocking a uh, polarizing filter for this, but I'm not. What I found in shooting with the gimbal is it's really more about uh, keeping the subject in frame without hitting the joystick. As soon as you hit the joystick, you're kind of out. The clouds are so awesome, dude. that we've come up with in the past few days of testing. Um, it's been kind of a pain to really get it situated uh, and get a result that I'm actually happy with. Hold on, we're filming. It's super smooth. So gorgeous. Yeah, the clouds are popping off. It is beautiful. It was foggy all morning today. We came in to do toes at like 7.30 and there was just absolutely no way it was gonna happen. So what we ended up doing uh, was just doing a couple ground school modules for the students. And then um, we just fit everyone to their respective motors. But now uh, the students are gone and we are just flying out here on paramotors is what we're doing and I'm really hoping this microphone works for the first time ever ever yeah what we really want is that back lid. that is what you want to see right there just hit someone's wake I really hope this is the audio I've been looking for um, it's been super duper frustrating to have to deal with this realistically. Well, it's frustrating to me because there's no set thing that you can just buy and then it works. You have to do some kind of solder job um, or you have to come up with something very expensive. It's just not something that people have put enough money and time and resources into to uh, like have something that's you know, repeatable. With that being said, what the heck is Devin? These clouds are popping off, man. What's awesome is uh, just being able to fly right around them. So what we'll actually do, because they're like squarely in Class G airspace. Like there is no legal issue with flying like all up in these things. I mean, we have a limitation to 700 feet right here, but I, I doubt that I'm above 500 right now and these clouds are below it. 
So yeah, just cloud surf. Which is pretty epic and magical. This is what it looks like. Probably what mist on the lens looks like. It's definitely getting thermic now. Check out that glory right there. That is sick. It's just your shadow. Well, I've really enjoyed the feedback from the past few videos, guys, um, and I'm glad everyone's enjoying them. Uh, I try to just make videos that make me happy or uh, showcase a product or, or something that I've done that makes me happy um, and share it with you guys in a way that is easy to watch, fun, and adventurous. So if I'm uh, doing that in an effective manner and you guys are reciprocating to me that I'm doing it in an effective manner, then everything I'm doing with this channel is what I want to be doing. End of story. Oh, there's Jake. Oh, we're going to film Jake so much. Oh yeah, there's like 10 paramotors out in the field. Like, go, 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 clouds, go! Jake's like, I'm gonna do wingovers, and I'm like, please don't move. I'm trying to film you. Well, all right, I think we're gonna pack the gimbal up and we're gonna head back to base. Maybe do a little shreddy shred on the way there, but can't have the gimbal out for that. I always set the, the uh, cruise control to a slight climb, so I never have to worry. Oh, so scary. So scary. Just put you back in here like this. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Camera secure. We did it again. That's a thermal right there if I ever felt one. Dude, wow. It's like you could feel yourself move through pockets of warmer and colder air. It's the definition of a thermal. Fantastic out here. I'm always afraid that PVC is just gonna slam my ankle. So, in the end, after all of the experimentation, searching, trials, errors, microphones I purchased online and will probably never use again, I'm pretty happy with the results in this video. I think that the audio quality portrayed while I was flying today was the best I've ever heard uh, since the old Cena mic. Now, for sure, there is some tweaking that can be done, not only in post, but also for some more wind protection. There was kind of like some popping coming through and Giles Fowler is actually sending me for the microavionics headset a like sock thing that goes over it that will pretty much eliminate that. But thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope that in doing this and creating this, I can help you guys create better paramotor videos yourselves. And I just want to get the information out and help everyone out I can. Coming up next week, we have two gear reviews or gear spotlights. I have a new wing coming, so that will be an episode. It's something you've seen before, but it's mine. Uh, and then we are also going to be testing the PPG Smoke Unity headset, which is a new all-in-one product on the market with some really cool and innovative features that are first in the paramotor world. Anyway, until the next one, fly safe, fly good, don't suck, and have a great week.